Actually, this law covers all non-food products, from the children's toys to smartphones, pen, papers. Uh, and the last uh, regulation is 20 years old. So you can imagine uh, what changed, what happened uh, over these 20 years. Uh, 20 years ago, the e-commerce the e was not so popular. Uh, we didn't buy stuff from China, for instance. So that was the reason behind to reflect on the changes that happened in the behavior of uh, consumers in Europe. Our main objective was to make sure that the products that are sold in Europe are safe. So uh, now when you have a problem, you will know that there is a legal representative of a seller. So you know whom to call if there is a problem. Also, we wanted to have fast removal of unsafe products. So in two days, the unsafe products will be removed from, from the market. And the most important, what was also for the European Parliament, was to have an efficient recall system. So it means that if a product is recalled from the market and you bought the pro product, you will be informed. No need to follow all the news uh, in, uh, on TV. You will get an information directly that the product you bought is not safe and the seller will have to offer you either that the products will be repaired, uh, that will be changed, or you will get your money back. Our uh, main objective was to make sure that uh, we protect also children, uh, seniors, uh, that uh, buy products uh, online also. We know that uh, more than 50% of unsafe products come from China. So that was the reason why we really insisted that all the sellers in Europe must have a legal representative in Europe. And also, uh, as I already mentioned, the recall system. So if uh, a product is recalled, you, and you bought the product, you will get a personal information, you will get a personal email saying that the product you bought is not safe. And important. Companies will have to make sure... A single market is only as strong as a trust that citizens have in the safety of the pro products that circulate within it. And I think it is high time uh, that we uh, upgrade our product safety uh, rules because they're 22 years old and a lot has happened since then. Uh, and they were not ready, the present rules are not ready for the digital age, where most of us are not just shopping in shops but also online. It is very important to be cautious in the area of consumer safety. Um, it means that if a business or a government uh, is active in the market, it has to assess the risk and take any measure that is fit. It's crucial for consumers and it's fully proportionate in our view. Finally, we welcome that the final text provides for special protection of vulnerable consumers such as children and better access to information for people with disabilities. Adopting new rules is one thing, but implementing at home and in uh, the public uh, uh, sphere uh, doesn't mean much. Uh, if it is not enforced. We need member states on board to do this. The Commission will do its utmost to coordinate product safety activities at the level of member, state, member states, including with support from the single market programme. Um, and um, I'm sure that certainly for many relation because uh, in, instead of Commissioner Renders. We move to the report by Ms. Dita Sharansova on the General Product Safety Regulation Provisional Agreement, Amendment 237 by roll call vote is open. Vote is closed and it is adopted. Congratulations.